All right, welcome back. In this video series, we'll be looking at how computers represent negative values. Negative values in memory. For example, we want to represent minus five. So we want to see how computers can do that, right? Basically, you have three ways to do that. Number one is the sign bit, using sign bit. Number two we have is using two's complements. Two's complements. Then number three is using floating point format. Floating point format. All right. Basically, for the sign bit. Let's take them one by one. For the sign bit, for the sign bit, basically, uh, we use zero for positive value, and we use one for negative values. For example, you are given value five, and the in binary, you're going to have, using 8 bits, you're going to have 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 1, 0, 1 as 5. So this is your 5. So assuming it's minus 5, we introduce the first bit will be 1. If we are using, if we are using sign bit, so it's going to be 1, so it's going to be 0, 0, 0, 0. 0, 1, 0, 1. But if it's not, this is for minus 5. But why if it's for 5? The sign bit, which is this first bit, will be 0. Why the value 5 is 0, 0, 0, 0, 1, 0, 1. So that's just for that. We just introduce a new piece, a new bit, which is the beginning. So the beginning bit that means if a value is negative or if a value is positive. So that's it using sign bit so using sign bit to do that how to do that now for the next example is using tools complement tools complement is gotten by first of all you're giving a value you're giving a value say five represent minus five in memory so first of all using tools complement using tools complement so first you're going to do is first of all, generate the ones complement, then step two, add one to, to ones complement to get two's complement, add one to ones complement to get two's complement. Now, the ones complement is gotten by inverting the bits. Once complement is gotten by inverting the bit, so inverting the bit gives you one complement. So, for example, assuming we have five, so the first thing convert the five to binary. So we're gonna give us, if you recall, to divide it in binary. Divide is gonna divide by two. We're gonna have two to give, to give us. This is two. Remember. One, this is one remainder zero. This is one remainder zero, and this is zero remainder one. So we have one zero one. Please add five zero to make it eight bits. So we have zero 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 one zero one as your five. So having gotten this value. The next thing to do is to invert the bit. Invert the bit means when you see zero, it becomes one. Anywhere you see one, it becomes zero. So for us to get our ones complement, so we invert the bit. So we have one, 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 zero, one, zero. That's one's complement. Now the next thing we're gonna do is to add one to our ones complement to get our two complement. So I'm gonna add one plus one. So we'll add one plus eight. We're going to give you one plus zero. Give us one. Please give us one. 
that gives us zero so we have one 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 so this is our two's complement which is the same thing as our minus five so minus five the pivot is equal to one 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 zero one one so this is our two's complement you agree with me so this is your minus five now let me let's confirm something i know it's, it looks strange right let's confirm something you agree with me that five plus minus five will give you zero right yes if that is the case let's add and confirm if it's true recall the five value we have was zero 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 one zero one our minus five value we have is one 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 zero one one now we said if you add these two values you add this one to give you zero so let's add the two to see that we have zero so if we add the two one plus one is two two divided by two one remainder zero so write zero carry one put the one here two divided by zero carry one two divided by two one remainder zero put here two remainder zero one add it two remainder zero two divided remainder zero remainder zero remainder zero then one so this one is carry bit this carry bit is discarded the carry bit is discarded the carry bit is discarded so you can see we have zero 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 so that tells us that the value we got here is indeed our minus five so that's how to do your minus value one more example they give you another example that says represent minus 25 using two's complement so step one convert it to binary which is step one convert to binary so we have 25 divide so 25 gonna give us gonna give us 12 this will give us 12 remainder one this will give us six remainder zero this will give us three remainder zero this will give us one remainder one to give us zero remainder one so we have one one zero zero one so 16 plus 8 plus 1 that's 24. so we got that so the next thing is to i said add zero to make it up to 8 bits. so we have so 25 gives us zero 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 one two three four five one two three four five six seven eight so we've got eight bits now looking for minus 25 that's our goal so the first thing again step two is step two is to once complement find the once complement once complement which is gotten by inverting the bit so we invert the bit anywhere we see zero becomes one one becomes zero. so we have one 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 zero zero one one zero so let me write it again so the one we're going to give us so we have zero 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 one one zero zero one so with that we have one 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 zero zero one one zero so these are our ones complement then step three is add one add one to ones complement to get the final answer so by the time we want to add one so we're going to have so we have one 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 zero zero one one zero plus one so we have one 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 zero zero one 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 so the value we have now is uh minus 25 so we have this is minus 25 it's equivalent to one 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 zero zero one 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 so that's using sign bit so that's how to get that value so i said 
In case you are doubting your answer, use the confirmation method I said. The other method says, if you add the 25, which we have, if that's 25 value we had, you remember was 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0, 0, 1. So then minus 25, which is this value is 1, 1, 1, 0, 0, 1, 1, 1. So if you add the two, you should have zero because 25 plus minus 25 will give you zero. So when we add these two, this will give us two divide, two divided by two, one remainder zero. So zero, carry one, come here, this zero, this zero, come here, zero, 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 then one, the carry B, this is carry B, to discard it. The carry B is discarded, so we we'll have zero. This is just to confirm. Normally, your solving stops at this point. You just confirm that, that the answer you got is correct. So if you see that the, this is actually the two's complement of 25. So two so negative values are represented also using the two's complement. In our subsequent video, we'll be seeing how to use floating, floating point format to represent negative values. Thank you for watching.